the global economic landscape in 2024 is marked by significant challenges and uncertainties, reminiscent of the financial crisis of 2007 to 2008. The world economy is facing a period of turmoil and instability, with projections indicating a slow growth rate of only 2.7% in 2023. This forecast, issued by the International Monetary Fund, IMF, paints a grim picture of the global economic outlook, warning that the worst is yet to come. Various factors, including food and energy price inflation, debt distress, and the lingering effects of the pandemic, have created a complex web of crises that demand urgent attention from world leaders. The current economic turmoil is particularly acute in vulnerable countries, with 25 nations identified as most susceptible to debt distress. These countries, home to 1.5 billion people, span a range of income levels from middle-income to low-income nations. The challenges they face are exacerbated by factors such as food price inflation, extreme weather events, and the ongoing impacts of the pandemic. The inability of powerful governments to build a resilient multilateral system has contributed to the systemic nature of the volatility and crises unfolding on a global scale. Western leaders, facing domestic challenges such as cost of living crises and geopolitical conflicts, have been criticized for their myopic approach to the current economic crisis. The failure to adequately address the needs of vulnerable countries has not only perpetuated existing inequalities, but has also deepened the perception among many that African nations in particular are often victims of crises originating in other regions. The global financial crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the climate crisis have all had ripple effects that disproportionately impact developing countries, further widening the gap between the global north and the global south. Inflation has emerged as a significant concern, with disparities in inflation rates between advanced countries and emerging economies. African nations in particular have experienced a sharp increase in inflation, with headline inflation tripling from 3.5% in January 2020 to 10.6% in June 2022. The impact of inflation is more pronounced in African countries, where a larger proportion of income is spent on essential goods, leaving populations more vulnerable to economic shocks. The actions of central banks, particularly the U.S. Federal Reserve, have reverberated across the global economy, with steep interest rate hikes impacting countries with heavy debt burdens. The U.S. dollar's status as the world's reserve currency has magnified the effects of these rate increases, leading to higher costs for servicing dollar-denominated debt and importing essential goods. International investors have withdrawn significant funds from emerging markets, further exacerbating financial strains in developing countries. Looking ahead, the global economy is at a critical juncture, with the need for a coordinated and ambitious policy response more urgent than ever. The decline in potential growth rates, coupled with the systemic challenges facing vulnerable countries, underscores the importance of proactive measures to boost productivity, investment, and trade. Policymakers must prioritize workable solutions that incentivize growth, increase resilience to economic shocks, and foster sustainable development. In conclusion, the global economic meltdown in 2024 presents a formidable set of challenges that require immediate and decisive action. The interconnected nature of the crises facing the world demands a coordinated response from international leaders to address the root causes of economic instability and inequality. By prioritizing policies that promote inclusive growth, sustainable development, and global cooperation, the world can navigate through these turbulent times and build a more resilient and equitable economic future for all.